Singulate is a biopharmaceutical company that is focused on development of a new product and the candidates for the treatment of central nervous system and neurobiological disorders. And with me is the CEO, Shane Schaefer, a company traded here at the NASDAQ, a ticker symbol CING. Um, so your initial focus is ADHD. Right. So tell me where you are with that treatment. So we have uh, two assets in development for ADHD. Mm -hmm. Our lead asset, CTX1301, uses a molecule that's been used safely and effectively for the last 50 years. Uh, it's called dexmethylphenidate. Uh, trade name was Focalin. That's a product that Novartis developed. We're taking dexmethylphenidate in our 1301 product. We're actually looking to overcome the unmet medical needs in ADHD. For over 50 years, physicians have been using stimulant treatments to treat ADHD. The problem is these drugs either don't start fast enough or in almost every case, they don't last long enough. Okay. So what we've done with our proprietary technology, it's called precision time release. We've taken that medication and then we very specifically and precisely time, ratio, design and deliver the medication three specific times throughout the day. So a patient can get a fast onset of action. You don't wanna wait two or three hours for the drug to start working. This will start within 30 minutes based upon our data thus far. Mm -hmm. And then it'll last the entire active day. It'll get a patient from breakfast to dinner, from home to homework, from revelry to taps. Okay. Get them through the active part of their day. And that's what we're targeting in this $22 billion market. Okay, so the current uh, method is an ADHD pill is taken numerous times a day? Right. Okay, so this is just brings it down to one time a day. Yep. So there's less kind of you know room it's for the, errors. It's the like first that. true once daily medication. Okay. A lot of products were designed to be once daily. So you take products like Vyvanse, Adderall XR, Focalin XR and Concerta. Right there, those four products make up over 80% of the marketplace. Mm -hmm. They all stop delivering medication before noon. So if you take that medication at 7 a.m., by noon, they're done delivering medication. Our biggest difference is number one, we start right away, so within 30 minutes, but then we deliver a third dose. And this time it's just 20% of the medication, we deliver that at two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, okay. Stop the rebound, stop the crash, extend the efficacy, and avoid the booster doses, yeah. which 60% of patients are taking today, every day, 90% need it. Right. And the abuse and diversion of those short-acting stimulants is something we want to avoid as well. Interesting. So yeah. that's what I was going to ask. Like besides just kind of the obvious right. benefits of this, just makes life easier. Yep. What are some other benefits to having it delivered this way? So number one at the end of the day is you take it and you forget it. The day is good. You're going to have an entire active day of efficacy. But according to the DEA, about 99% of the abuse and diversion of stimulants, which is a true problem, mm -hmm. and the last thing I ever wanna see is a medication prescribed that shouldn't be prescribed, including our medications. But then when medications are prescribed, like the booster doses or recovery doses, the, the reality is this, that's a short-acting Adderall. It's a short-acting Ritalin. And patients can crack it, they crush it, they snort it, they share it. Mm -hmm. It's just sadly what happens. Yeah. With our delivery system, that third dose is built into the tablet. There's no need for a physician to write that medication. Okay. There's no need for a nurse to get it prior off. Uh, there's no, no need for a payer to get two drugs reimbursed. And there's no need for a patient to now to pay $200 for this script and $200 for that script. Okay. Instead, we're gonna get good reimbursement mm -hmm. and have it in one second. Everything's product. just more efficient and easier. For and safer and at the end of the day, more efficacious. Okay, yeah. is this for adolescents, adults, both? Yeah, so when we started this company, myself, Dr. Matt Brahms and Dr. Raul Silva, the three of us sort of founded the company. And uh, our philosophy was, let's not leave any patient behind. We have eight dosage strengths that we're gonna launch with. No one's ever done that. I launched three drugs at Novartis and ADHD. We had three. Mm -hmm. Vyvanse started with three. You know, products that have come out in the last 10 years start with two or three doses strengths. That's untenable. We'll have eight doses strengths starting at 6.25 milligrams all the way up to 50. Now, forget the ADHD wonkery. What that means is 95 plus percent of patients can be optimized on our medication. Okay. Children, adolescents, and adults. I see. And by the way, the adult market is double the size of children and adolescents combined. Interesting. Well, it's a neurobiological heard, I, disorder. I, I know adults, you know, that have taken it or, yeah. you know, they've been through ADHD treatment and things like that. Right. Um, where is this in clinical trials? So we're in phase three right now. Okay. We're a late stage company. We're in our phase three trials right now. We're doing an adult onset and duration trial. It's in its second cohort, the final cohort right now. Uh, we hope to have that data and expect to have it released in uh, mid this year, so the July timeframe. Uh, we'll start our children and adolescent trials in the June timeframe. So those trials are ongoing right now. We expect to be out of the clinic this year. 
done. Okay. Get that new drug application ready and filed in the early part of 2024. And we hope to have this product available in the first part of 2025. That's what I was going to ask. Okay, yeah. so best case scenario, early 2025 Correct. is when it would be available. Yeah. Uh, what is the market opportunity? You mentioned it's $22 billion and So ADHD is a, it's a $22 billion category every year. And that's in the United States alone. And we're looking to license this product outside the U.S. to other, par other, other parties. But in the U.S., we're focused on it. We're going to commercialize it here with our, with our partnership with Indigene. Um, so it's a huge market. Stimulants drive the market. Over 90% of the market is the stimulant class. And that bifurcates between methylphenidates, a.k.a. Ritalins, okay. and amphetamines, uraterols, and vivances. Okay. That's why we have two separate products to tackle this marketplace. Interesting. Now, of course, getting the FDA approvals, one hurdle, but then yeah. there's also the commercialization. Right. Getting it into the doctor's offices and letting them know it exists and right. all that. How do you plan to attack that part of it? So, yes, two good questions yeah. there. So from an FDA perspective, this is really interesting. I was, you know, I worked at Pfizer, Novartis, Sanofi, you know, Lipitor, great products. Mm -hmm. ADHD stimulants over the last 50 years have been approved 100% of the time. Mm, interesting. So we have a very good track record of approval because they're the same molecules. Mm. We're just making them better in terms of how they're delivered. In terms of commercialization, that was the biggest hurdle that Singulet really faced as a small company. Mm -hmm. um, we've now released a, uh, we, we released our, our announcement. We have a joint commercialization agreement with Indigene. Now, that's not a household name for everyone on the street over here as we walk, watch people on Times Square, but it is a household name in the pharmaceutical industry. They work with 29 of the top 30 global pharmaceutical companies. They have everything from field force, medical liaisons, medical information, pharmacovigilance, metafairs, market access, which is critical, and we're, we get a bolt on to one of the best market access companies in the world. They're a full commercialization suite. We're working with them to commercialize our lead asset, CTX1301. Um, the big advantages of that are, number one, we're now working with the global commercialization company, mm -hmm. and in the U.S., perfectly focused. We're using artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. machine learning, mm -hmm. to understand how providers and patients want to be educated on our products. We're not going to force it down their throat. We're going to do what they want to hear, mm -hmm. how they want to hear it, and how they want to be, uh, you know, basically taught about the medications and the differences. Um, number two, we're not gonna put out hundreds of millions of dollars of risk capital to build a commercial operation. Instead, we've bolted onto one for pennies on the dollar. And then finally, for our shareholders, what's really important is, instead of us licensing this product to another pharmaceutical company, where we retain, say, 15% of that net product value, we keep 95% of it. So the value of Singulet's products and assets stays with Singulet in our shareholders okay. versus giving the product away. Well, right, and you get some return on your investment Absolutely, that way. Yeah, so yeah. Now, also kind of overlapping with that, you have treatments for anxiety uh -huh. as well. So is this the same molecule or explain how all of question, that? Yeah. So the beauty of the PTR system, the Precision Time Release Platform, is we can take two, three, four, maybe up to five of the same or different medications. And then again, precisely time, ratio, and style when that drug is gonna be introduced into the body. So we have about 20 different medications that we've identified. All have major unmet medical needs and all have a minimum of a billion dollar market opportunity. That's the future of Singulet. Mm -hmm. But for, for today, we have the two, the two ADHD assets and then our anxiety asset, what we've looked to tackle is the problem with a product called Buspirone. So Buspar or Buspirone is the number one medication in anxiety, which affects more people in the United States than any other CNS disorder. And it's safe. It's effective, but you have to take it three times a day. Okay. Now, if I had anxiety, that would probably cause anxiety. If I <laughs> yeah, you didn't have it begin with. If I had to take it three times a day. <laughs> We've already released data on a study where we can give one tablet in the PTR system and then precisely deliver those three doses in the right time, the right ratio, and the right style so that we can avoid that issue. Right now, benzodiazepines, products like Xanax, Alprazolam, diazepam, those products combined make up about $3 billion in the market. Buspirone's about 2.2 as a generic. Yeah. We're going to solve that problem. No withdrawal, no dependency, better efficacy. Okay. And it's a chronic medication, right. so and it's, it's good for business. Same concept as the ADHD. Exactly. Easier, more efficient. Um, better, better, outcome, better health outcome yeah, for the patient. All right, so just in general, yeah. tell me about the business. What are your goals? I mean, I know you've got these clinical trials yep. and getting it to market and all that. I mean, what are your overall goals for Singulate? You know, at the end of the day, I'm a pharmacist. I'm a pharmacist at heart. I still, uh, I still want to see us make better products for patients, better products for providers to use their patients. And at the same time, let's help the healthcare system. Let's reduce some of the societal issues. Let's reduce the costs. 
But at the same time, look, we are a business and we want to obviously be profitable. We can do both. Mm -hmm. um, we look forward to building the next, you know, five, 10, 15 medications over the next 20 years. And uh, we're Kansas City based. Uh, I started my, 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 my career in the pharmaceutical industry with a guy named Ewing Kaufman. He passed away before I got there, but Marion Labs. And so that's why we, we, we built the company in Kansas City. We're, we're, we want to build a pharmaceutical company and a company, one to stay here. Yeah. And, uh, Goals and visions goes. for the future. Well, I've been to Kansas But for City. now, let's just we'll focus on the first ones. It's a great place to be. So and We'll do some barbecue. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shane, so much. Thank Appreciate you so you much. Again. It was really a pleasure. Yeah, thanks.